Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Bobby, Wizard on the Run, baby. I know, production value, we'll work on this. I got another 500 videos to do, right? Or 1,000, whatever. But I want to talk about something really quick. I want to talk about celibacy. I want to talk about being alone and self-love. Basically, I've been celibate for years, and I talk about this, not a lot, but it's important because that's part of my power is not sharing my energy with anybody, especially in an intimate situation where usually that's where you really get drained. Especially when it's not a give and take, it's just somebody draining the shit out of somebody else and it's a toxic, usually a toxic mess. And One person's either healing and the other person isn't and they're just gonna keep that person from ever healing, that kind of thing. So the reason why I talk about celibacy as a, an important tool in self-love is because there's no diluting your power. There's no, there, I mean, you can have people attack you, you can have people, you know what I mean, walk into a room and just like an in-law, somebody talks to you on the phone and they just drain the shit out of you, but that's, even that doesn't tap into the sexual intimate energy that can be drained when, you, when you're when you actually engaging in that kind of behavior. So don't feel bad if you're alone. That's an important step in the dark night is not giving yourself to anybody. And that's another part of being an emperor or an empress. When you love yourself, you're not just gonna let anybody, any scrub touch this, right? I'm not, I'm still waiting, right? My empress hasn't appeared yet. But your empress or your emperor has not appeared yet, that's okay, you're still working on your stuff, right? But you're getting this information and then you're gonna start working on yourself and then you're gonna be shining in the light and be a badass and then everybody's gonna wanna hump you. And you're gonna be able to say, nope, uh, nope, nope, nope. After a while, it becomes pretty evident that the, the the more powerful you get, the harder it is to let somebody in, which is another, you know, it's it's the balance. But like, you have to open your heart chakra, but you just don't give it to anybody. You just gotta be open to the possibility of your empress being there. You know, keep your stuff groomed, trim your nails like I do, and yeah, try to keep your stuff bathed as constantly as you can. But yeah, you gotta work on yourself constantly. That's part of the process. We're always students, never the master. Even as the emperor, I would always, always take advice. Even emperors take advice, and empresses, put it that way. They have advisors, so. No man is an island, or no woman, or non-binary, non-gender specific, right? So we need to work on ourselves. So like I said, sex is, you know, everybody to his own, right? You're either gonna take a step back like alcohol or anything else, you take a step back and reevaluate some stuff, right? This is your body, it's important. And energy exchange. I, I'm telling you, I'm gonna do a video about this, specifically about a new way of living where everybody, the energy exchange is gonna be something on everybody's mind. Can you imagine teaching this in school to children about energy when you talk to another person? Space, respect, you know, give and take, no loud screaming, no over emotionally, you know, because you drain people when you get, you know, just understanding that on, on that level, I'll be awesome. Every aspect of your life, work, play, I mean, it doesn't have to be over dramatic, like, you know, snowflakey, but at the same time, it's important to understand energy and how it affects you and your happiness, and your balance. Okay, that's it. Whew. Wizard on the run. Woo. I don't know. Anyway, I love you, God loves you, and the universe is crazy about you. So hopefully this helped, and in your solitude you will find power, and then you'll find whoever.